Hello and welcome to week four. This is Angela again, your professor for uh, project time management. One of the objectives in week four is to learn how to create a network diagram and identify the critical path of that network diagram. We can do this by hand, uh, doing the forward and backwards passes to identify the critical path in Slack. Or we can also do it in Microsoft Project. So this video will show you how to do it in Microsoft Project. And I'm going to demonstrate using exercises 1 and 3 on page 177 and 178 of your Pearson text. So for exercise 1, we're given some activities and predecessors. So let's enter those first. So we have activity A, survey site. We have activity B, which is install sewer and storm drainage. We have activity C, which is install gas and electric power lines. And D, excavate site for spec house. And we have activity E, which is pour foundation. So we're given those activities, and then we're given the predecessors. We're told A does not have a predecessor. We're told B has a predecessor of A. So um, we can do this one of two ways. So I'm going to click on activity B. I'm going to go to the predecessors tab. And B has predecessor A, so I'm going to choose A and click OK. So then I'm told C has predecessor A as well. So I can either click on it and select A or I can put activity 1 here because A is task 1. So D has predecessors B and C, so why don't we click on this, go to the predecessors tab, and so we have activities B and activities C. And we can click OK. And E, we are told, has predecessor D. So let's select D and click OK. So there we have um, what we've entered. Uh, as requested um, in exercise one. Now exercise three um, gives us durations. So let's enter the durations and as you can see um, before we entered the durations it assumed it default defaulted to everything being one day but we are told that um, Activity A has, is five days, so we can do this. Arrow up to five days, click OK. We're told activity B has, is nine days, so I can just put in nine here, so let's see what happens, and it defaults to nine days. Activity C is four days, so I can arrow up to four days here. Um, activity D is two days, so let's can go here and go to two days and activity E is two days as well so let's put in activity two days okay so as you can see it's creating um, a network diagram for us so again let's auto schedule it highlight everything auto schedule it and here is our network diagram, our Gantt chart. So let's take a look at the network diagram. So going over here, we click on network diagram. And as you can see, it's showing us our network diagram. And one of the things it's asking is, uh, what is the critical path for the network diagram? And in Microsoft Project, the network or the critical path is highlighted in red. So the activities that are red are the critical path. So A, B, D, and E are critical. C is not on the critical path, which means it has float. And these are our nodes in 
um, Microsoft project and it gives us our start and finish days and our durations. Okay, so C because it's not on the critical path means it has uh, some float. So that's how you enter a network diagram into Microsoft Project and how we can see what the critical path is and we know it's a critical path because it's, uh, the nodes are in red. Another way we can uh, understand what the critical path is is we can um, enter a column. So I'm going back to the Gantt chart and I'm going to click on one, right click on one of the columns. I'm going to insert column and we can insert a column that I believe is called critical. And so it highlights. So if it says yes, it's on the critical path, and no, it's not on the critical path. Um, to identify what slack we have, we can also insert a column. And so slack and float are the same thing. So let's see if we can find a column that's called slack or float. So we've got free slack. Start Slack. Let's try free Slack, see what that is. And as you can see, if it's zero, it means it's on the critical path. And we have an activity that has five days Slack. So activity C is not on the critical path and it has five days Slack. So that's how we can create our network diagram and show our critical path. So either on the Gantt chart we show it, or again on the network diagram, uh, the red is our critical path. Thank you, and hopefully this helped.